Let's talk first uh, NFL. Uh, New Hopkins suspended for Arizona. I'm, l- I'm looking on FanDuel. They don't have the over-under wins for Arizona, though they are now plus 310 to win the West. Um, so Hopkins suspended. The first-round pick now, that trade for Hollywood Brown makes a lot more sense because they lost Christian Kirk to the Jaguars. Hopkins suspended. They knew this Hopkins news was coming. Kyler Murray already running away from this franchise, so they couldn't take a chance in the draft. Cardinals, like I said, 310 to win the West, which probably kid all of a sudden, I think, at best, the third most competitive division. At best, I think. Last yeah, year was it, the best by far it was uh, right. going into the season, right? Um, uh, yeah, this division... Um... You know, and depending on, I guess, what happens with like a Debo Samuel, right? Like if uh, right. somehow he ends up out of San Francisco uh, and even with them now going with a uh, most likely uh, right Trey Lance at, at quarterback. Who even knows? Year, yeah. Uh, well, whoever knows. Uh, so, yeah, that division has taken uh, certainly a, a major step back, which is great for the Rams, because if anything, the Rams may have gotten better in the offseason. Um, right. So, Good for them and everybody else. So is, and look, w- what we saw with the Cardinals at the end of the year last year, um, I don't know. They just weren't very good. Aaron, so and the last year before, two, yeah. last two seasons, right. last two seasons, and, and that trade for DeAndre Hopkins, that one played ten games last year, was injured, didn't play uh, late in the right. season, didn't make that You're playoff right. game against the yeah. Rams, and suspended here. Not the greatest of trades when it looked like it was a slam dunk for the Cardinals two years when ago. When did he get did suspended? Yep. Is this for, I know he got suspended yesterday, but what, what was this for? Well, for what test? For a recent test or for last year's test? I, I didn't even look into it. I should have looked. Hmm. I, thought was, I, thought, I, no, thought, I know it's a PED something. I know it's PED. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's weird. I thought it said it was a test that like he failed last year. Though. Yeah. I, I mean, it, geez, I thought I mean, it happened at barely the played end of the last season. year. Yeah. I, mean, I thought it, it played a little bit. But what a, what a problem. What a bust this is. Anyway, yeah. so uh, like I said, I think the AFC West is better. I think the AFC North is better. And there's, like you said, uh, Parley Kid, depending on where Samuel goes, that that 49ers pick, I mean, Rams are plus 140, 49ers plus 185, Cards mm. plus 310, Seahawks 10 to 1. Uh, that could Rams could just run away with that. Jump on the Rams Seattle right there, Seattle. right now. Yeah. Seattle just fell off a cliff. No Wilson, yep. no Wagner. I mean, look at the quarterbacks. You got Murray who doesn't want to play. You got maybe Trey Lance at the 49ers. And uh, what is it? Is it uh, the, the Denver quarterback? What the, what, what's going Drew on? Lock right Seattle? Drew Lock. <laughs> That's a mess all of a sudden. There are better Gino quarterbacks Smith, everywhere else. But anyway, let's pick. The draft was this weekend, obviously. Let's uh, the offensive and defensive rookie of the year. Odds are up uh, for offense. We'll handle offense first. Kenny Pickett leads the way. Quarterback of the Steelers, five to one odds. Uh, Drake London, seven to one, uh, Burke, seven to one. Uh, then down the list, you got Ritter, 14 to one Malik Willis, 33 to one. That's interesting. Mm. Uh, I don't even know. Like last year we knew five quarterbacks were going to play a lot. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. So Lawrence was starting. Wilson was starting for the jets. We thought Trey Lance would find his way into the mix in San Francisco. He didn't, uh, who am I missing? Oh, so Mac Jones, right the Patriots started the whole time. And then it was a J- Justin Fields, I guess got, yep, got yep. enough play yeah. time. So you had, to, you had to figure it was going to be a quarterback last year. And it wasn't, it was Jamar chase. It was yeah. Mac Jones for a while was leading. Jamar chase had about Harry. It was like six weeks where he did virtually, I don't want to say nothing, but he couldn't really break 60 yards. And then mm. he went nuts yeah. um, probably yeah. five of the last seven weeks. So he wins that award. It's different this year because you don't even know. If there's one quarterback that was drafted, that's going to start for these teams, right? Pick right. it. I guess. I don't know what, what they do with them. Five to one. I guess he starts uh, Ritter over Mariota in, in Atlanta. I don't, mm. I don't know that yep. Malik Willis starts um, over Tannehill in Tennessee. So it might be, I mean, NBA is always easier to pick because you know, these guys are getting, what guys are getting playing time. So you can kind of narrow it down to three, but uh, Harry, let's start with you. Who is your offensive rookie of the year choice? At six to one, got to love the Drake, right? Love the Drake. Drake <laughs> London at six to one from <laughs> USC in Atlanta. Look, Atlanta has no Russell Gage who led uh, Atlanta as wide receivers last season in receptions and yards. Calvin Ridley is gone for the team currently. So we don't know his situation, how that's going to pan out. I uh, think it's a perfect yeah. situation for uh, it's a perfect scenario for London who can put up big numbers and start immediately um, with Atlanta. Now I know if, if Mariota's quarterback, yeah, that you, that, you know, he doesn't put up big numbers, never has. So that's a little bit of a question there in their offensive line. Yep. 
Um, they did the decent in the uh, draft offense line. So I think this just is a situation where London will be able to play immediately and maybe be their best receiver. Um, and that's my play. It's six and one. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> it's a spelling bee. Uh, all right. I don't know. Like well, six to one. I don't know. I just, yeah. You got a receiver who's getting thrown to by potentially Marcus Mariota and you're only getting six to one. I think that's a little low. Yeah. Brian, Brian, what do you got? Well, I think that's the issue, right? I mean, you're only getting six to one and who knows yeah. with Mariota. Um, but, you know, you were saying, Sal, in terms of who's won this award, right? Uh, the quarterback didn't win it last year. The quarterbacks, it's weird to think a quarterback's only won three of the last nine years. And actually, when you look at the last 20 years, it's always usually it's like, I would say it's like 75% maybe higher or first rounders. There's a few second rounders and then Kamara was the only third rounder. Um, so I was going to go with Sky Moore. I know he's taken late in the second round. At 11 to 1. I think he opened up at 15 or 20 to 1, but th- this is somebody that the Chiefs were lucky to get. Uh, there's there's a chance he could be the Chiefs' best receiver early on. You know, I know they have Scantling, will be a deep threat. They have Juju Smith Schuster, but who knows really with them? I just feel like this is the type of guy that Andy Reid's going to find ways to get the ball. And, you know, Mahomes is going to, you know, Mahomes is throwing for close to 5,000 yards, right? So someone, someone else is going to need to step up in that offense this year. So, I feel like why not more here? So at eleven to one, I thought that was pretty good value. You know, I was thinking yeah. about that. By the way, Harry Drake London went to seven to one, so uh, mm. you got bragging rights. You had to get mm. actually some of these numbers are moving around uh, a lot. Uh, oh, I quick. was thinking about Sky Moore, and I was thinking, Bry, maybe the smart thing to do is to go <clears throat> Sky Moore eleven to one, Christian Watson plus eight fifty quarterbacks from Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers. You're not going to do better than that, right? Yeah. Uh, just take both of them. Now, you might say, well, a um, couple of years ago, a few, what was it, 19, where McCall Hardman was the rookie for Kansas City? He didn't win it. And was it Amari Rodgers last year? I guess he was a third round pick for, yeah, for, a little uh, later. for Aaron Rodgers. So they weren't rookies. Well, but like you said, Tyree Kill was on the Chiefs and Devontae Adams was on the Packers. So it's a different story. So you might want to, that might not be a bad way to go Mm -hmm. to take Sky Moore and Christian Watson and just hope two of the top three or four Mm -hmm. quarterbacks do their thing with one of them. How about uh, Bryce Zamir White, 60 to one for the Raiders now? Yeah. You know what? I was thinking about that and I thought, you know what? McDaniels similar, you know, Belichick type of offense. They like Mm -hmm. to rotate running backs a lot. I feel like the Raiders are just going to have like three or four guys running the ball. So I do like White. Um, yeah. But I, I don't think he's going to get enough carries to win it. You know, he might get like 800 yards and like eight touchdowns nice. or something, but I right. don't think I don't think he can win it. Well, you know, I say NBA is easier because you could gauge playing time. You could know who's getting eight minutes a game and not. But, but obviously NFL, I think, relies on injuries more. So a guy like Zamir White would have to be have to be an injury to Jacobs. All right. Parley kid. Uh, you know, I looked I looked and looked. I don't see Tyler Smith on the board anywhere. Um, <laughs> I don't see it. I just don't see the Cowboys yeah, first I mean, round what? pick. They don't give this award to offensive linemen. What? <laughs> there are Damn offensive it. linemen on there. Just not oh Tyler Smith. He, you know, he, was he the youngest player in round one? I, I was just um, hearing that now. I think I yeah, heard he was, that he was like he the youngest been, He's uh, either just turning 21, right? Or not even 21 old. yet. Oh, 21. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's your pick for uh rookie of the year? I'm taking Chris Olave, Sal. Is there any um updated line on him? Uh, uh, has he, anything changed? Ten to one. I don't know what you had. Uh, t- yeah, yeah, that's what I had. Ten to one. Uh, yeah, I like Olave here with the Saints. Um, I think he's going to be in a situation where one, uh, who is catching the ball there for them? I mean, this last year was a disaster, uh, especially without Michael Thomas. Uh, uh, it looks like Winston is going to be their starting quarterback there uh, with the Saints. Uh, and what I like about Olave is I do I do think he's going to have. Um, a lot of receptions. I'm not, uh, it's like some of these other guys are really down the field type of guys. Olave seems to be more of a, uh, of a slot guy um, who can still stretch the field, but he's more of a possession type of receiver. I could see him catching uh, 80 or 90 passes this year. And maybe not for the amount of yards that chase had, but I think for a good, uh, a good, still a good amount. So I, I think he is, is going to emerge as that number one receiver eventually. And I think another guy we should be looking at is probably Kenneth Walker of uh, of the Seahawks uh, running back from Michigan State. We probably should be examining being that uh, we know how this, this Seahawks running game is. It's kind of strange, but uh, he, he might em- uh, quickly emerge as the number one back there getting about 20 carries a game. Yeah, could be. 
Yeah, it's interesting. With Alave, I mean, you have to figure out, back to Alave, how that offense is going to perform, right? Like, what kind of offense are they going to end up running? Uh, that's if, the if, thing, it that's... J- if it is Jameis's offense, then you're you're getting good value, I think, with him. Yeah. But, boy, you if guys, they do like you, they did last year, forget do you, it. Um, do you guys like Tolbert at all? I know he was like 42 to 1 for the Cowboys. because he, oh, st- he, he, he could miss that. He could yeah. start, right, I guess, for them? He right. could be their third receiver. Um, I just don't think he'll get a lot of – I mean, he's a guy I could see having – um, you know, seven, 800 yards, but like 40 catches, you know, or like yeah, 45 yeah. catches. Makes I don't sense. know. That makes sense. That makes you sense. Know, so I Any was trying guys? to think like, you probably don't have to have a Jamar chase type year to win this. Uh, not this year. It right? seems not like this right? year. And that, so he had, and that, he had like 1500 yards almost in 80 chase, plus receptions. Yeah. The last couple of years, the, the, the rookie receivers have been off the charts. Uh, right. You might not see that this year. Uh, it may, might it might go back to the way it used to be, where rookie receivers like 800 yards was a good year. That's what you I was thinking. Them. I was thinking like, well, like a thousand and and eight touchdowns could right, win it, right, right. So yes. that's what I'm counting on when I take Garrett Wilson for the Jets at plus nine fifty. I think I'm gonna yeah. just lose a lot of money on this award. I'll probably bet like five <laughs> guys, but I think he's the most gifted of the receivers drafted. He uh, <laughs> like he says he modeled his game after Stevie Johnson. <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> he was a good player. I, I got killed the jets. So I don't know. Interesting. I don't know that helps. That's yeah, an interesting. Isn't it, isn't it though? Yeah. He's yeah. a worker. He had a hundred, hundred or more, uh, uh, sorry, hundred or more yards, five times last year, caught at least five passes in nine games. He was a slot receiver two years ago where he had 40 plus catches yeah. and then they split him wide. I kind of like this jet offense. I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go over on the jets. Whoa. I'm going to bet all the jet. What about, I, go ahead. what about Brees yeah. Hallman? Yeah, I don't know. I, I I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be Zach Wilson's year. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I, he's yeah. got a lot of weapons: Elijah Moore, I, Corey Davis, yeah. Barrios, well, like a lot of I, catches to go around, which yes. might, might be tough for him to break through. And, but well, Paul's yeah. a touchdown uh, machine, if, though. A yeah, touchdown I, machine. I agree with that, Harry. But you got to remember they have Michael Carter too. Right. I know. Yeah, uh, I think if anything, timing. it's gonna be a backfield by committee because Carter, when he was healthy last year, was mm-hmm. good for the Jets too. So the Jets now have two good young running backs too. Right. So. Good for them. I know. I know it's uh, Zach Wilson. When he came back was kind of a different quarterback, you know, mm-hmm. maybe uh, was, was in some games, obviously that game you, you, you saw him, right? Probably kid when the Brady went to MetLife. I got to, yeah, yeah. I got to see that up and close and uh, he was very solid that game, you know? So right. I do think uh, you're right. So this might be the, um, a good year. The, the, the jets are definitely on the rise and good, good for them. They've been down for too long. Yeah, I mean, we talk about divisions that might be better. That AFC East, by the time August rolls around, could be better mm. uh, on yep. paper than the NFC yep. West. So we'll see what happens. But I could just see the Wilson, the Wilson. They have their own volleyballs with faces. That could be good. <laughs> I, I'm taking Garrett Wilson, but Brian, I probably split a little between Sky Moore and Christian Watson with my stupid like um, Mahomes Rogers uh, theory. 